sissy Sue. And I'm sissy Bob. You look a little tired, sissy Sue. I am. This is going back to work, folks. Oh, my goodness. And that whole run from all the way out of the BOL was long, yeah. wasn't it? What are you about, Pepper Gals? You're sissy Sue. I already said that. I'm sissy Bob. I already said that. Oh, you already said that, too? Did something happen <laughs> to your mind while you were out there in the BOL? <laughs> Got fried oh, from the sun? sissy. I was spending a lot of time with some little junior preppers lately, and they just wear you out. Yeah, I thought about going back to school and getting my degree in teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's after, for somebody else. After a couple of weeks <laughs> with my little preppers, uh, Sissy changed her mind. That's right. But they are part of the reason why I decided to go into emergency preparedness and management. Yep. Because, folks, you can make little preppers. You can. Although, I'm not educated in it, but... I know how to teach. When I say you can make them, I'm not talking about something that you actually grow in your garden or anything. These are actually, you take little children in your house and you teach them about prepping. Exactly. And even if they're not your direct next generation, as in your children, they could be your grandchildren. That's right. Now, I'm not telling you to go against the wishes of your children. My children were okay with me doing it. So. That's right. <laughs> Now, we had thought about bringing my grandson up here because in the making of a little prepper with this video that, we're, that we did, yeah. we kind of took Sissy Bob's little grandkids and they are going to be pro train us as when we were little. Yeah. And we'll see if you can guess who's who. Oh, of course, you can guess <laughs> I was the cutest one. <laughs> yeah, but he was off of you. We were going to bring my grandson up here, but my grandson, he just, at this point in his life, he's just not into it. He's only four years old and there's only three things he cares about. Video games. <laughs> Video games. Um, watching his little movies. And McDonald's. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But that's okay. You but I'm teaching him covert it. operations. I got her. She is. To she is. <laughs> <laughs> she has a little under eye. Shh, shh. Teach him how, like, in case we had a bug out, you know, be quiet because you can't have those big voices. You have to use little voices. Yeah. Of course, he doesn't know why they're doing it. Yeah. He knows in an emergency. That's right. And I'm teaching so. him covert voices. Wow. That's right. And it takes some work and it takes some patience to be teaching them little preppers. Because let me tell you what, I had three little preppers on my hand for several weeks. And I tell you what, I had to keep them busy because otherwise they was taking my house apart. That's right. And that's why you didn't see me on the videos too much because I know. No. But I tell you what, no. I even took them little preppers down to the <laughs> retreat and had them put them to work building. <laughs> they sure did. And I tell you what, folks, there's one thing. You had some help. I did. The one, Ariana, which is Sissy Bob. Yeah. She portrays Sissy Bob. She loves going out in the garden. She likes she helping. Does. She does. She's really... my little junior, I tell you. Then we had little Christopher. He's my little man, all right? He's my little goat man. It's gonna be He's a, not it's afraid gonna be a of Conrad. <laughs> Next time, when well, I guess I'm going to have to bring him down here to take care of Conrad, because his Sue and Conrad still ain't worked out their issues. Oh, it's going to be worked out when you get that electric fence up. Uh, I got it up. He jumped over it. Oh, he did? Yeah, that's okay. a whole other show. a whole other show. It is. Did he really go over the electric fence? He went at least her grandkids know how to say hillbilly pepper gals. My grandson calls us a hill, hillbilly pepper cows. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, it's not cows, it's gals. And he's like, that's what I said. No, that's not what you said. You called us cows. We're not cows. So. Why don't you have them, Sissy? Anyway, we're going to show you the making of little preppers. So if you got some little preppers in your house or want to be little preppers, let's get them going. And if not, make them. That's right. That's right. If they want to eat. That's right. <laughs> Trust me, if they're going to want to eat later on when something happens, they're going to want to learn how to do that. So. That's right. WACJP, we ain't crazy, just, just prepared. prepared, and we're making little preppers. We are. Check it out. Catch you on the other side. I got mine. She was checking out, but she didn't get the other side. Yeah. The best part is about grandkids. You don't actually have to have them. You can give them back, too. Yeah. That's a nice thing. Hey, the hair. Oh, my Okay, you two tell Grandma what you got today. We got vegetables. Vegetables? What kind of vegetables did you get? Show Grandma. Corn and carrots and, and beans and corn. And did you get some peas too? Yeah. Did you get some tomatoes? Yeah. Very good. I got another tomato. Yeah, you're my little no, hard working. I see it. Take a picture. I got it. I got it on the video, Chris. Okay? It's a nice one, huh? Yeah. 
A little bit green, but it'll ripen, right? Oh, she's okay. Hey, Callie wants to have her corn too, right, Callie? And I want to have my corn. Okay. What you eating, Chris? Corn. Corn? Is that the corn you picked this morning? Yeah? How about, well, Ari, yours ain't got nothing left on it. <laughs> What are y'all making? We're making pickles. You're making pickles? <laughs> what are you going to make the pickles out of? And the, and the cucumbers? Yeah. Yes. And there. Yeah. That's and right. There. Grandma's going to show you how to make some pickles, right? Jeez, are you making pickles too, Callie Sue? All right. That's okay. I'll get it. Don't worry. Good job. Whoop. Okay, you hold that and Grandma take the lid off. Good job, Callie. Now Good job. Do. Now, do. now, careful. Good job. Now. Now, what are we gonna now do that we got that done, this is where this comes in, okay? Mm -hmm. So now wow. we take this and we use it to lift it and put it in here. Now, what do we do? And then we're going to get the next jar and do the same thing again. I'll get you some cucumbers and then you're going to put them in there, okay? Uh -uh. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Okay, you gonna aim? Good job. This is that. You sitting on me? I want to shoot. Okay, here. Okay. Do I have a kickback? No. It's a okay, little. You ready? It's, a, it's actually a yeah, youth 22. It just sounds louder than anybody. It's because, I think it's because we're up what? under here. He got it. He got it. Chris! Oh, oh, man! You are the man! <laughs> Are they silly chickens, Ari? Uh-huh. Hey, he's doing that. <laughs> you can pet her. Yeah, see? <laughs> Why is she sticking her like that? Because she's eating some food out of her bowl that I give her every morning. Hey, Chris, work on it. Work on the cabin. Like, just hold it just like that. Come on, y'all need to hurry up and finish it. this cabin up. Hmm. Are you done yet? Chris. It opens. Are you done? Hey, Mia, cabin. did you finish measuring in there? Did you finish measuring in there? Did you finish measuring? Hey, what are you two doing? Supervising. You supervising the work crew? Well, you know what? You three, for all of you being under four foot tall, I think you did a pretty good job building this building while the two old men watched you. <laughs> yeah, the best part is that you got cold. Yeah, is it done, Callie? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Hmm?